Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. My name is Miss Robinson and I'm back with another math video for you guys. Today we are kicking off chapter four with this video and we are looking at lesson 4.1 in chapter four. Chapter four is still focusing on multiplication, but we're gonna be looking at sets of facts at a time. And in lesson 4.1, we are only focusing on our facts of two and our facts of four. And what we wanna pay attention to or really focus on in this particular lesson is using something called the double strategy. So hopefully by this point, when you are thinking of your multiplication facts of two, you realize that you're just doubling the second factor that you're multiplying that two by. But we are gonna take a look in this video at how we can apply that double strategy when we are multiplying by a fact of four. So I'm gonna give you a couple of examples, really just one example using the facts of two because I know multiplying by two is quite easy for everyone and it should be a little bit of a review for you guys. But we're gonna spend the bulk of this video looking at applying that double strategy to multiplying by facts of four. So I'm gonna set up my whiteboard with some examples, come back, close up the video, and that's it. So I'll talk to you in just a second. Alrighty, so we're gonna start off our examples with a very simple problem because in this example, we're only gonna be multiplying by two. Now, as I referenced in the intro, multiplying by facts of two should feel like a little bit of a review for you guys um, because you're really just counting by two. So we're just gonna go through this example to re refresh our minds, remind ourselves that when you're multiplying by two, what that really means is you're just doubling that second factor. So when I look at two times three, I should recognize that two times three really is the same thing as me doing three plus three. I'm doubling my three. That means I'm adding three to itself two times. And definitely in third grade, this problem should feel very simple. Three plus three is six. So when I look at two times three and remind myself that multiplying by two just means I'm doubling that second factor, I can rewrite it as an addition sentence to show myself what three plus three would be. But this little bit of work that I did right here tells me that two times three is going to equal six, okay? Let's do one more using our facts of two. So let me erase this one very quickly so that it's out of the way. And instead of doing two times three, this time I'm gonna do two times nine. Let's deal with the bigger second factor. Even though the second factor is bigger than the previous example we just did, I'm still telling myself that two times nine is the same thing as me telling myself to double nine or add nine to itself two times. So I'm gonna do nine plus nine. That should feel like a review problem to me. Nine plus nine is 18. Therefore, I know that two times nine, the product of two times nine would be 18. So those are just two quick examples using the double strategy with our facts of two. Next, we're gonna move on using this double strategies, but how do we use it when we're actually multiplying by four? All right, here we have our second example. We are multiplying four times five. And when we look at the number four, we should realize that two doubled is four, or two plus two is going to equal four. So I'm gonna use that knowledge that I have, and I'm going to break this multiplication sentence down to make it a little bit easier for myself. So maybe I'm not quite comfortable with my facts of four yet, but I'm really comfortable with my facts of two. I'm gonna use those because like I just said, the number four is really just the number two doubled. So instead of writing four times five, I'm going to write two times five because that's a nice, easy multiplication problem. I know that two times five is 10, but since I know my real problem is asking me to multiply four times five, I'm going to take the product of two times five, which is 10, and double it because four is the doubled version of two. So I'm gonna double 10 by doing 10 plus 10, and I know that that is going to be 20. So since 10 plus 10 is 20, and I know that two times five was me breaking down four times five, I know therefore that the product of four times five is going to be 20, okay? So let's do another example using the double strategies when dealing with our facts of four. 
In this example, I am multiplying four times seven. Again, I'm going to remind myself that the number four is just the number two doubled. And I'm gonna take that and break down this multiplication problem to an easier one for me to solve. And then I'm gonna double my product to the broken down multiplication problem. So instead of doing four times seven, I'm going to do two times seven because I know my facts of two. And since I know them so well, I'm just gonna say, I know that two times seven is 14. But since I'm dealing with four times seven and I know that four is the doubled version of two, I have to also double my product. So I'm going to do 14 plus 14. And I know that 14 plus 14 is going to be 28. So I then know that the product of four times seven is 28. See how nice and easy that is? Okay, I'm gonna do one more example for you guys. All right, in our last example, we are multiplying nine times four. I realize that I'm multiplying nine, I'm multiplying it by four. I don't know my nines at all right now because I'm still learning perhaps. And I'm a little shaky on my facts of four, but I'm gonna tell myself what I do know are my facts of two. So I'm gonna break that four down into a two. And then I'm gonna double the product of two times nine. So I'm gonna rewrite this as two times nine for right now. I know that two times nine is 18. And since I'm using the double strategy to multiply by four, I'm gonna take my product, double that by doing 18 plus 18. And I know that 18 plus 18 is going to be 36. So I also know then that the product of nine times four is going to be 36. So that is your last example for this lesson. I'm gonna give you some closing thoughts for this video and you will be on your way. All right, so those are your examples for this lesson. Remember, we are focusing on the double strategy. And for me, the main focus is making sure we understand how to really apply that double strategy when dealing with our facts of four. Because when we are dealing with our facts of four, we should realize that four is just the doubled version of the number two. So if we're a little uneasy with our facts of four, we want to fall back to our facts of two, multiply by two, and then realize, well, four is doubled of two. So take that product from your multiplication sentence where you use the two and then double your product and that will give you the product for whatever you are multiplying four by. So it sounds a little bit confusing but once you do a couple of examples it's pretty simple and it's really a handy little strategy that you guys can use when dealing with your facts of four. That is it for the, today's lesson. I hope that you found this video helpful. If it was please give it a thumbs up so that other people can see it and that you keep me encouraged and I I would greatly appreciate it. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye everybody.